Hey guys, I'm Ryan and welcome back to Fitness Beyond 40. Today we'll be covering part two of how you should be thinking about training beyond 40, a five part series specifically tailored for men as they age beyond 40. If you haven't watched part one, four ways to build muscle after age 40 and avoid overtraining, I would encourage you to do so and there's a link in the description below. In this video, we'll be digging a little bit deeper into the impact of training volume on muscle development in men over 40. The information is based on academic research studies and supported by my experience in the past 20 years of training. You'll find the study links in the description below, and I encourage you to do your own research after you've watched this video. Please note that this is a general research video and should be used as a reference only. That said, let's get into it. As men age, maintaining muscle mass and strength becomes increasingly important for overall health and well-being, as there is substantial evidence supporting the natural decline in muscle mass after age 30. According to the research, muscle mass decreases approximately 3 to 8% per decade after the age of 30, and the rate of this decline is even higher after the age of 60. I know this sounds pretty grim, however, there is some good news in the fact that this rate of decline can be offset through resistance training and nutrition. Regular exercise, particularly resistance training, is known to promote protein synthesis and muscle development. In fact, according to one study published in the Journal of Physiology, Protein synthesis was observed to increase by 48% and remain elevated for 24 hours after acute muscle stimulation before returning to baseline around 48 to 72 hours. However, it is crucial to strike a balance between training volume and recovery as excessive stimulation through volume without adequate recovery can potentially hinder muscle growth. Naturally, it makes sense to start by gaining a fundamental understanding on what defines training volume. Training volume refers to the total amount of work performed during a training session or over a specific period. It is typically calculated by multiplying the number of sets, repetitions and weight lifted and takes into consideration other factors like time under tension and frequency. So using this as an illustration, as we can see from this simple comparison, Using more weight results in less reps being complete and there's a natural decrease in velocity that comes with trying to move a heavier weight, all of which lower the actual training volume. Numerous studies support the view that higher training volumes have been associated with increased protein synthesis and greater muscle growth in younger individuals. However, the same may not hold true for men aged 40 and beyond. And we need to consider factors like age-related changes in muscle, recovery ability, the role of hormones, and the potential drawbacks of excessive volume. As men age, they experience a natural decline in muscle mass and strength, a well-documented phenomenon known as sarcopenia. Recovery is a critical component of muscle development, especially for men over 40. Insufficient recovery time between training sessions hinders muscle growth as older individuals generally take longer to recover due to reduced muscle protein synthesis rates. Studies suggest total testosterone levels fall at an average of 1.6% per year, while free and bioavailable levels fall by 2-3% to per year. Research isn't conclusive on what amount of volume results in overtraining as there are many variables and influencing factors on each individual. However, there are some well-documented symptoms to look out for like fatigue, depression, insomnia and irritability. To maximise muscle development in men aged 40 and beyond, it is crucial to find the optimal training volume that balances intensity, frequency and recovery. A study published in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found performing multiple sets of an exercise is superior to a single set. However, there doesn't appear to be any evidence in support of increasing muscle mass for higher sets in the range of 4 to 6. This appears to be a good outcome for most men leading busy lives these days, not wanting to spend countless hours in the gym. 
The research is limited for weight trained men over the age of 40, but one study suggested the upper limit of 15 total sets for a muscle group per week doesn't appear to produce any greater response in hypertrophy because of a plateau in the protein synthesis response. Instead, a moderate training volume with an emphasis on proper form and technique may be more beneficial for men over 40. In the next video, part three, we'll be discussing the importance and value in exercise form. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. According to a position statement from the National Strength and Conditioning Association, it was recommended for men over 40 to adopt around 10 working sets per muscle group per week with repetitions between seven to nine, as this has been evidenced to elicit the greatest efforts on muscle strength and size. Expanding on this, the recommendation is to split the volume up between two to three sessions over the course of a week. In my experience, around 12 work sets per week for major muscle groups and six to nine work sets per week for smaller muscle groups, divided over one to two training sessions during the week, has appeared to be a good baseline between stimulating muscle and managing fatigue. There are always exceptions to the rule, and I have adopted periods of much higher training volume, up to 30 work sets for a major muscle group, with a view the extra volume would shock the muscle. This super high volume did yield short-term benefits. However, I feel the extra volume helped with calorie expenditure, not muscle mass, and it came with the drawback of fatigue accumulation and progressively reducing performance. With this information at hand, I'll use the whiteboard to help illustrate an example of one way to structure your week using a six day training split, training each muscle group twice, and a routine I've recently started to incorporate again. As with everything, the law of diminishing return will apply to this example, meaning it works better in the beginning, and as the body adapts, it will become less and less beneficial, uh, which is why periodization has a lot of value. Okay, so this is the example that I was talking about uh, for chest and arms. So again, you're doing it twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday, and this is based on what we've been going through so far in terms of the recommendations. So you can see we've got our multi-joint exercise there for chest, uh, starting with the bench press. We've then got our single joint being the flies. Um, again, we're adopting three sets for each. Uh, with the bench press, we've got a little bit more of a, a heavier load on it because it is the multi-joint, so six to 10 repetitions. The flies, eight to 12. Um, and then we adopt something similar for arms. So close grip bench for the triceps, uh, three sets of six to 10, the barbell curls, three sets of eight to 12, and then the tricep extensions, three sets of eight to 12. Uh, you can alternate this. The reason I've just put it up like this is because triceps is the larger of the two muscle groups of the arm, uh, and there's more heads to work on your tricep, therefore it's uh, got the extra exercise, but some weeks you might find that you wanna do two bicep exercises and one tricep exercise. But the idea is when we double this, um, so for chest, we're doing six in the one workout on Sunday, and then we're doing another six on Wednesday. So we're doing 12 work sets uh, over the course of a week, which is in, in line with those recommendations. Uh, and then with arms, again, we're doing uh, the load on a Sunday and on a Wednesday. So by doing it this way, uh, it follows those guidelines that we've been speaking about. So in conclusion, training volume plays a crucial role in muscle development in men aged 40 and beyond. While higher volumes may be beneficial for younger individuals, excessive volume can potentially hinder muscle growth in older individuals because of a decline in hormone production and protein synthesis. Finding the optimal balance between training volume intensity and recovery is essential for maximizing muscle development in men aged 40 and above. By understanding the potential drawbacks of excessive volume and tailoring training programs accordingly, you can achieve your fitness goals while minimizing the risk of overtraining and injury. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Fitness Beyond 40 for more fitness tips 
and workouts tailored to men aged 40 and above. And please remember to share this content with any men over 40 in your network too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video about the value of exercise form. As always, if you have any questions on the content, please let me know in the comments. But that's it for now. Train smart, live well, and take care of that body because you only get one.